Let's see here. What we're going to do is we're going to work on evaluating functions. And when evaluating functions, whoa. When evaluating functions, um, we need to know at least what a function is, right? Well, remember a function is just a relationship between an input and an output value. Um, input being our x and output being like our y. And, um, and that special relationship is every input value is unique, meaning that it gives us a, not every input, but the output value is unique to its given input. So what we have here though is instead of doing an output as y, we live it as f of x. And what f of x represents, f is your name. So this can be like Frank, Grant, and Hugh. I don't know, I just made up those names. But that's what F, G, and H are. They're just names. They're just, we put them there to name them, okay? So we can distinguish between two different functions, right? The same reason why we use different variables, because a one variable represents one number, another variable represents another number, right? So that's how we label our functions. Then these little x's right here, what these represent is the value of our input. I don't think I, that's even showing up there, is it? Maybe just a little bit. Okay. So those represent the value of the input. All right? And so what you can see is on our question, they say, find the value of your function for negative 5. Find the value of your function for negative 3. Find the value of your function at 2. All right? So what we're going to have to do is, if you notice here, I have my input variable again, right? So I want to find the value of it. I'm going to have to plug that value in, in for my input value. So how do I know which value to plug it in for? Well, it's kind of simple. Here, this one is f of negative 5. That's how we say it, f of negative 5. So I'm going to use Frank. Well, I'm going to have to evaluate Frank for the value of negative 5 of Frank for Frank's function, right? So to do this one, I do f of negative 5 equals 3 times negative 5 plus 2. Then it's just doing algebra. 3 times negative 5 equals negative 15 plus 2. So I say f of negative 5. f of negative 5 equals a negative 13. That means this function, f of, f of x, this function f x, or the name Frank at the value of x equals 3x plus 2. This function, 3x plus 2, the value of this function at negative 5 equals negative 13. Now let's move on to uh, Grant, I call them. So g of negative 3 equals a negative 2, negative 3 squared. And guys, it's really important. I really like to put, whenever I'm inputting, I want to make sure I put it in parentheses. This will help you understand, one, what you're inputting. And then second, it'll help you really keep your negatives, um, negative signs together. Because a lot of students make mistakes with those. So a negative 3 times a negative 3 is 9. So I have a negative 2 times a positive 9. So therefore, I have g of negative 3 equals a negative 18. And then finally, do the last problem. I have q, which is h of 2 they want me to figure out, equals negative 4 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 5. Well, 2 squared is 4 times negative 4 is a negative 16 minus 4 plus 5. Negative 16 minus 4 is a negative 20, plus 5 is a negative 15. So I can say h of 2 equals a negative 15. And that's how you evaluate for functions.